This is the Norwegian forest cat, a long-haired, hardy, and regal breed, named the official cat of Norway by King Olaf. The Norwegian forest cat, they're called Weegees, um, and they're a natural-born cat from Norway. But don't be fooled by their cute looks. These felines were the companion choice of the Vikings. This is a cat that is incredibly durable, very even-tempered, very athletic, and very beautiful. And they're built tough. First, their dense double coat is practically weatherproof. It's really thick and fluffy all over, but especially around their neck. So it gives them a really regal, almost lion-like look. The Ouija has heavily furnished ears. Adorable fluffs of hair, which can be three to four inches in their ears. And long tufts of fur in between toes, which serve as padding and protect from frostbite. Finally, they have long, thick tails, some with a distinctive white tip on the end. Sue Shaw knows the Norwegian forest cat. That's because she's been breeding and showing them for almost 30 years. This one is mine. And Sue's not alone in her love for the Ouija. Her daughter, Tina, grew up with them. But what they both love best is coming to cat shows together. The best part about the show is bonding with my mom. She is very hardworking, and I want to be there for her because she's there for me so much. Here at today's cat show in Atlanta, mother and daughter are dressed in traditional Norse garb to show their support for their breed. Unads are the official folk dress for Norway. Each region has their own special design, and we also have some Vikings walking around. But the real reason the Shaws are here? To show off their pride and joy. Three Norwegian forest kittens. His name is Bjorn, and at home we call him Little Bear because when I first saw him, he looked like a bear. Today, Bjorn, Ilsa, and Bjarta are competing in the kitten class, which means they're younger than eight months. Each cat is assigned a number, and throughout the day, the Shaws must listen hard for that number over the loudspeaker. Cat number 121, your third and final call to ring two. And so begins the race, with a total of seven different rings to visit for judging, this is an exhausting day for humans and felines alike. Oh, it's fun. You get to see a lot of different people. It's more than just showing your cat. You meet people from all over the world. Though it's obvious, cat fanatics genuinely have a great time putting their felines in the spotlight. In each ring, Bjorn is competing to win best in breed for the kitten class. Each judge is looking for the same thing a written standard of perfection by which he or she must measure the Ouija. First, his head must be an equilateral triangle. His musculature must be strong and well-proportioned. And there is definitely a certain amount of subjectivity to judging felines. Sometimes their personal preference comes into it, but I think they really do pick the best cats. And because Bjorn does so well, he advances to the next round, where he'll compete against long-haired kittens of other breeds. This is the final ring for Bjorn. The spectators look on with anticipation. You're up there almost biting your nails while they're judging him. And with almost 200 cats under one roof, even the most unflappable of felines gets phased. Wow. Judge Rob Seliskar shows no hesitation. Very nice triangular head, nice flare to the ears, and it is my very best honor. Bjorn, the Norwegian forest cat, wins again making him the best long-haired kitten in this ring and a great example of the breed. When your cat wins, you get the most exhilarating emotions in your stomach, and it's just like a butterfly that just wants to like seep out of your mouth. It was nice today to see my daughter so thrilled to see one of the kittens doing so well. So I'll be proud of this one. The Norwegian forest cat stays calm in the show ring and is a cool cat among a busy family. The Ouija's are great with kids. They're great with other animals. This long-haired cat sheds heavily in the spring, so be prepared to brush them at least three times a week while they're molting. The Ouija is a very hardy cat that lives a long life with few health problems. They do suffer from one congenital problem called polycystic kidney disease. But other than that, they're pretty healthy breed. So to sum it up, while the Norwegian forest cat is pretty healthy, some may have kidney issues. When shedding their winter coats, they require brushing three times a week. And these cats are calm in a family with kids and other animals. 
All in all, a great cat for first-time cat owners. They're as tough as they come. The Norwegian cats are tough cats because they survived living with the Vikings.